I know you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some bags of feathers. My life breaks the scales. Hand What's going on, boys and girls? It's your boy, Lazy Lights here. We're back at it for another one. All right, so really cool behind the scenes look at my laboratory as it is currently. Um, I have a new setup now that I have a new um, MacBook Air is now how I'm doing my streams. I did my first one. Uh, we did a Zelda stream. It went actually pretty well. Um, so thank you all of those that came to watch. I greatly appreciate it. But um, I'm going to share um, what I'm using now to uh, to basically um, do my YouTube videos or a way to do my YouTube videos. I probably, I use this now, I just use it once. I probably won't uh, keep doing this this way, not because I don't like it, um, but the capture card has a lot more um, versatility to what I needed to do, and I paid a lot more money for it, so I definitely wanna keep using that. And um, it, um, helps with the chat on my live stream like every time I chat with you guys I can put my headset on so but this is a way that you can do live streams or um, do uh, um, YouTube if you're on a budget and this can apply if you have a MacBook or if you have a, a Chromebook yes there's a plugin for Chrome as well, or if you have a Microsoft computer, and that is if you have a PC or a laptop of some sort, like a Microsoft Surface Pro, or or maybe you have like an HP or something like that, you can actually stream with this new product, and that is the Shadowcast by Genki. When I saw this, I immediately knew that I wanted it, and I became a backer of the product, and they sent me one. Um, this was right before I actually bought my capture card. So um, then I figured, you know what? This is gonna take a long time to come. I didn't even know if it was originally gonna come um, in March and it ended up coming this month of April. But I had bought my capture card first, so I enjoy doing that. But this is a way that you can stream for 40 bucks. like, Or you can do YouTube with a Switch or a PlayStation or an Xbox for 40 bucks is a way you can make video um, and then you can also play games on your computer. Um, I think that's a pretty good feature. Um, it doesn't matter if you have PC, Chromebook or Mac, there is a way that you can use this and it's super simple. I don't know why this didn't happen years ago, but this company finally made one. Thank you very much, by the way. It is awesome. Oh, I um, backed this product personally. It wasn't sent to me or anything like that. All right, so I'm gonna show you how this works. It comes in that box, and basically what comes in that box is right here, uh, the the uh, Genki itself. Let me unplug it so you can take a look at it. It's nothing special. It's an HDMI dongle. It's yellow on the front. Let me see if I could get a clearer picture there. There we go. It's yellow on the front, uh, clear in the rear, kind of see-through, transparent. It comes with this nifty little, um, I can't say nifty, right? But it comes with this USB-C cable, which is pretty awesome. Um, it allows you to kind of wrap it around, or you can do it whichever way that you want to. If you are a person whose computer um, does not have a USB-C port, then you will have to buy some type of adapter, but those are easy to find. You can find them at places like Walmart, Target, Best Buy, um, Amazon, or anywhere else that they sell electronics. It's pretty much, you know, these cost like a couple of bucks that you can buy them, put the adapter on there, and no problem, plug it into your laptop, Chromebook, uh, uh, PC, I think this is really good for people who are on a budget and maybe have a Chromebook. Now, if your Chromebook is really crappy, I'm sure it probably won't run too well. So just make sure that you have a Chromebook that has at least four gigs of RAM before you decide to do this. Um, at least a Chromebook with four gigs of RAM. That should be good enough to push this. Um, I know a lot of the Chromebooks that are coming out now do have at least four gigs of RAM. So if you have like an old Acer Chromebook, 
uh, that's another story there. It may or may not work. That just depends on how your setup is and how your setup goes. But um, for right now, let's go ahead and start running with this and I'll kind of show you how it works. Now, you have to go to the Genki website and they will send you the instructions that come with this. There's nothing in here, it's just a, a box inside a box in which that comes in. It's nothing fancy, it's just a little cardboard box, red, and just to show you real quick so you can see, it comes with a little manual book and stuff. And it gives you the website that you need to, to go to download your plugin. So if you have a Mac, you go to, to the Mac section. If you have a Windows, you go to the Windows section. And if you have a Chromebook, you go to the Chromebook section and you download their plugin to your computer. And then you can play Switch right from the screen of your computer. So that helps if maybe you have a, a Switch and you have a TV that maybe there's a lot of traffic in your living room and you have a really nice monitor and maybe you want to play on your computer's monitor um, or you don't have a TV in your room or you have a computer, this is a way to play as well. Or if you want to record footage for YouTube so you can make YouTube videos um, or you can post videos on social media websites like Facebook or Twitter, you can do those things as well. Or Mixer, but Mixer doesn't exist anymore, so I don't know if you can go that route. Or Instagram, or all of those places where you can basically show video game. This will help you do that. And it can record footage, which is the main piece that I will be using and showing right here for this video. So, after you've done that, let's go ahead and look at the computer and see what we've got going on. All right, so once you've got your whole setup complete and you've downloaded the plugin or the, the application or whatever the software that you need from Genki Arcade, um, you can go ahead and start running the program. And this is what it looks like. It shows your Nintendo screen. You can see right there, I'm clicking right through it. Um, it works actually pretty good. There are two modes. There is a performance mode and a resolution mode. Um, I leave it under performance. Um, it seems to work pretty well. You can use the mic on your, in this case, MacBook Air. But if you have like a PC or a Chromebook and it has a mic, then it will uh, do that as well. And then you just pick your save spot, like where you want to save your um, your your stuff once it's you know all all done and stuff. Like where is it gonna go? So those are the things that you're going to pick. And then once you've kind of got that squared away, you can launch your game. This is really simple. Like it only has those options. Here it has a, a camera shot, a mic, and then your record button. So let's go right here and let's run this. And if you want to extend this, you can to take up the entire screen. And it's no big problem. What is that, by the way? Oh, okay. So actually, the the stuff around it is to go to the website if you want to buy another one. Okay, so we'll hit continue. And we'll launch the game. So you're actually right now playing Switch on the monitor of your MacBook Air. Pretty awesome. Or if you're on a PC or if you're on a Chromebook, super awesome. You have the ability of playing straight up. So if you have a, maybe um, you're at home and your family watches the TV a lot, or there's another console on the TV and they're always, well, hey, your Switch is portable, just use the Nintendo Switch, but the screen is small, so maybe you want a little bit more, you know, screen, screen time, and you do have a computer available that is not in use, you can do it this way, or if you just prefer to play on your computer. And some people don't have TVs in their room. They only have a, a computer with a real nice monitor, or maybe a MacBook or a Chromebook with a real nice monitor. And then they just want to play from their room. They don't want to play in their living room. This is the option as well. It will run you 40 bucks to do that. And then the other reason why you would want to do this is to record footage to do YouTube videos or social media footage or stuff like that. So as you can see, my volume is all the way up right now. It sounds good. No problems at all. No lag. No lag. It runs pretty well. 
Um, so let me go somewhere where maybe we can show you guys a couple of fighting scenes. Oh, those stupid bees. Alright, so... Um, let's go ahead and do that. Um, where can we go to fight somebody? Let's see if we can find some guys here. So yeah, so it works really well. I have no issues with it. Um, it sounds great coming from my uh, speakers. So if you have, you know, your setup, it'll sound accordingly to how you have that as well. All right, so we're here now, and we're gonna find uh, um, a way to kick ass, I guess. I oh, know there's a couple of bad guys around here somewhere. Maybe I've killed them, and the blood moon will. Oh, I think there's some guys over here, isn't there? Oh, I see a fire pit. Did I kill these? Uh, I might have killed these guys already. But yeah, this is actually pretty amazing. Um, at least I found to be pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and start the record portion of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click record. So right now it's officially recording don't worry it will not record the top portion of this um it will um leave those out what, what what was that it will leave that out oh that's what that was oh the other one was there These guys are really kicking my ass right now. Uh, this weapon sucks. I don't know why you want I'm using it. Done, sucker. Really, you didn't hear me? So yeah, um, you can record footage right here. Get this sucker. And his bull over there. All right, oh, it got me really good. All right, so, it looks like the uh, magic dragon is out. There you go, we've recorded footage. So let's say that you've recorded the amount of footage that you wanna do. We just did this for a test, but let's say you wanna record, you recorded a whole hour or 30 minutes, it doesn't matter. You hit there and then it, that's it, the recording stops for you. And uh, all right. So that's done, you're done playing, you're shutting it off, and you're like, okay, it's time now to work on my YouTube video because I want to post this, or I just want to post it on Facebook or whatever the case may be. When you set that spot up um, to where the save data is going, that's where you're gonna go. It could be to your drive, it could be um, to anywhere that you wanted it to set up. So I'm going to go to my place where I went ahead and told it to, to uh, store it. All right, so I'm here in my downloads now where I told the computer to store my files when they're recorded, and here they are. It pulls up the player of your choosing. I guess if you have a... A, uh, Microsoft computer it'll pull up like um, Windows play or something like that and there you are looks super sharp full 1080p as if it were on the dock you know um, really good no loss of frames 
at least not from the transfer. If there is, it's because there's a lot going on in, in the game and it would do it anyway. But there is no additional loss created by the recording itself. There you go, you guys have it right there. You've seen the entire gameplay exactly as we played it before now. Record it to your hard drive on your computer. Done. And that's when I got shocked here a couple seconds ago. As soon as I came down, I, I think I killed those two. Uh, the Zyphos or whatever these guys are called. I killed them and his boy over there. And then I got shocked. Boom. Alright. Well, you know the rest of what happens there. So, I just wanted to give you a, a kind of look at what this does. Now, once you have your raw footage on your computer, then you can pick what you want. If you just want to send it directly as it is. To face, I mean to well, yeah, to Facebook or or to YouTube, then you can go ahead and do so if you want to chop it up and put editing and and all that. Well, at that point, it takes you know if you have a MacBook, you can use iMovies. If you have a Chromebook, you can use um, um, is it Kindmaster? I believe is the one I'm using, or your phone as well. It has that, and then if you have a PC, you can use whatever software on your Microsoft, and then you can put it up on Facebook or on your social sites as desired. So that's kind of what I have going on right now with this. Um, you can use it, again, to do anything as far as streaming and, and YouTubing and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I like it. I think it's a great bang for your buck. I think if you're starting out as a as maybe a, a young content creator and you want to be able to stream or... Uh, record game footage this is the way to do it you know if you're maybe on a budget you know and you just want to waste a quick 40 bucks to do that this is the way to go um i'll leave the uh the the link to that um as well down in the description below and if you guys can let me know in the comments if you like this product if this is something you're looking into so you can create content for youtube or if it's, you know, just kind of a hobby that you would like to get into. And or if you just want to play through your PC or through your gaming monitor or through um, your Mac or something like that. Um, oh, real quick. If you do have a Chromebook, if you're doing this via Chromebook, just make sure that your Chromebook has enough storage. And that goes as well if you're using like a maybe a lower tier of a Windows laptop. Just make sure you have enough storage on there as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good thing. Um, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me um, on Twitter. That's at Lazy Lightsaber on Twitter. It's your boy. You guys take care. May the force be with you. Peace.